Hello and welcome to Cohesive Garage. Today I am going to take an opportunity to show you guys the Subaru's camping sleeping system. Um, I've got a panel and it works out really well and I'm going to show you how it works with passengers, without passengers, and what I think of it. Come hither, come hither. So here's the Subaru in its natural habitat after a great camping uh, weekend experience getaway. And it's currently in um, four passenger mode with a bunch of recovery gear and whatever else. Um, and I've been packing it. I just started packing it and I was like, I've been meaning to make a video like this for a while. But basically, there it is. It's these uh, bamboo pieces, and it's the highest quality, and I've been abusing it for a long time. I should sand it and finish it. It's actually super dense bamboo, um, and it's kind of heavy. I wish it wasn't heavy, but it's extremely minimal for what I'm trying to do. So basically how it works is it leans up against these L brackets that are bolted into the uh, top of the suspension. Uh, areas and then it has another bracket that goes across that's bolted in uh, to mostly the frame right there and then that back piece is hinged uh, so that I can raise the back and then this goes into a hole there and I will show you what that looks like right now and there we go so it's in now so with it sitting on either corner it's got frame and I can pull it up and still access everything below here. And I've got this little hook that dangles down here, which is actually from the original car. Uh, it had a panel there and then I just hook it right up into that metal piece. And then I can just shove everything down there. Uh, this car even has a 10 inch subwoofer. I took the spare tire out because I'm a rebel got my first aid kit and I've got a tire repair kit that's actually my foldable table but to give you a better idea I mean it's got a lot of a lot of extra space and I could put more stuff in here but we we kind of packed light tonight so all is well and then I'm gonna put that piece I can just put it on top of this and still have the seats up I'll show I'll show you that too here we go Bang. So now both pieces are in. Just to show you that I can still have it in four-door mode and carry passengers around. And I took the roof rack off for the meantime because I didn't need it this weekend. But I can put everybody's stuff in the top and take four people camping. There's with the back seat up. And then I'll show you it mostly assembled here. All right. So I'm going to transform it into sleep in the car mode. And I currently use this for the first time to actually sleep in the camp spot that was near the view that I showed you initially. And it rocked. It was awesome. I'm even thinking of taking this and even putting it on top of the car and sleeping it like as if I had a rooftop tent or something. But it's been extremely versatile. So I'll show you this and then I'll show you my mattress. Um, so all I do is I slide this forward and then it's got two, it's got two little uh, pins right here that go into the uh that go into the frame the metal frame of the uh of this piece the back piece and then this this i rotate forward there um and i use this here piece and it goes in between the uh the seat rails in between the uh in between the seats here so it just slides right on down let's see this is the driver's side passenger side just like so and then I got this hinged and it sits right there and as you can see I have a long sturdy luxurious sleeping pad and here is where the magic happens, the five inch thick memory foam 
truth. This is this is what long days on the road to adventures. This makes it all possible. So I can sleep like a baby. And that's what really matters is when I have to drive home and I haven't slept at all. It's a nightmare. Um, so yeah, this is where it happens. And I'm gonna go get the uh, sleeping bag. I've got a queen sized, I think it's a negative 30 sleeping bag that probably weighs 30 pounds at least um, that I put on top of this and then I throw some pillows on and you'll see. Let me go. All right, so here's my, my sweetheart Teton Sports giant super thick sleeping bag. And this is another key element to me sleeping at night uh, with year round camping. I don't care if it's snowing, raining, hailing. Uh, this is super thick. And another great thing about this is that it unzips completely into two blankets or you can taco it out in half. Um, but as you can see, it takes up a lot of space, but 100% worth it. This is my my second favorite thing besides the, the mattress. So I'll get it all set up and you guys can have a look at the finished product. All right, so here it is all set. And yeah, it's a little bit limited room to slide in there, but what do I do? I basically, I set my butt right here. I lay down, I grab the handles and I pull myself in. And then I get underneath here and then I sleep like a baby. And I still got some room underneath, underneath the pad to shove whatever in and even in the seat and then in front of the back seats or the front seats that are pushed all the way forward, there's room there. And then since I'm six foot three, I usually have it open. I stick a shoe in there or something and I just have it opened up just enough to give me a little bit of leg room, feet room. But yeah, that's how I sleep like a baby. All right, so I also still wanted to show that I can still access whatever I need to. Like I'm, you know, getting ready. I take off my shoes, I slide them under the car. And then in the name of science and because I kind of want to see what I look like when I slide my big giant fat butt into my little Subaru. I'll go ahead and demonstrate how I get in, just like so. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. And then I take my hat off, I put it up here. I put my cell phone in the, in the handles. I put my glasses, I fold them up. I put them right there. I got a little noise maker that lullabies me to sleep with ocean noises or whatever if I need it. I don't have to worry about wind. I don't have to worry about noise. I don't have to worry about safety. I don't have to worry about rain. And I love when I camp somewhere very beautiful. I just open this window in the morning and, and I go like this. But yeah, all in all, I've probably slept in my car 20 times or so. And it's been, it's been magical. Um, I got an Xterra to try to do the same thing, but with a lot more space. But I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. So I have, to, I have to thank people for helping me. This wasn't all me. I didn't just build this whole thing myself. There was a lot of people involved in the uh, design process and, and finishing it. I want to thank Boomer, um, Skyler, Skyler times a thousand. Um, and then uh, I want to thank Demo and everybody at Creo Works who uh, pitched in and helped me with this uh, crazy project. Um, they made it happen and, and I, I have sweet dreams of them every night when I go to sleep here and I think about the good times. Um, but yeah, that's my build. Uh, let me think if there's anything else to uh, try to come up with here. Okay, so what I do from this point is I fold the front part back and then I, I fold this up and I move my seats back. And then I put this piece of cardboard on top of the, uh, the sleeping bag. And then I load everything into the car. And I don't know if I'll have time to show you that, but I've got a 10 by 10 canopy that I set up for if it rains. And I also, like I slept under that last night, I actually brought the whole bed out 
mattress and pad, put it on the ground, and then put this over me, and it was wonderful. But let's walk out to the spot. I'm currently loading up, but there's chairs and and like a cooler that I throw in. So I've torn it down, but I put a tarp down, and that's where I had my bed last night. Uh, and then the canopy was above it. Um, built a fire pit and cooked a bunch of stuff on there. And this is my favorite thing ever. It's my chair, AKA hammock, that has a little place for me to put my alcohol or coffee, looking out into the great wilderness. And that's where the hammock was. Many hours uh, spent relaxing there. All right, I wanna thank you for sticking around, watching the video. And I wanna thank all my subscribers for everything and the years in, my, in, in between my absences and everything. But after making this video and packing up the car, it's time to cool off. So I'm gonna jump in this icicle river and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Oh! <laughs>